First of all, when I say y'all, uh, I play all day. So this is the text. This is what I use to send my text messages out to um, all of my customers. And today is February 4th. So I had a sale yesterday, but look what I said. Imagine your man not texting you back, but then boom, you post a picture in shape or the fierce dress and now he blowing you up. This could be you, sis. But leave him on red if he does. Shop now. Like, I play all day, but I wanted to show y'all how I sit here and, like, come up with my own little things to send off to you guys who are all subscribed to the text messages. And, um, yeah, this is, like, really good to use. Um, you pay per text message, and it'd be, like, some cents. It's not, it's not super expensive, but... Anyway, I wanted to start the vlog off with a business tip from Everything Shop, and then we'll get right into the vlog. Rome wasn't built in a day, and to whom much is given, much is required. Last year, we planted the seed. Together, we will watch it grow. Because guys are not geared that way. Guys are, guys are not geared... Uh, to, to, to do more than what society say they can do. And if they do more than what society says, that means they've been paying attention. Because today's society with African-American males is, is one of those things where society tells a man what it, well, how he should be. It's up to you to figure out how you want to be. Mm -hmm. Society always tells us how we should be. But it's up to you to say how you want to be. So if you want to be a good father, you will be. If you want to be with society, says you'll be that too. You are what you think, and so so women sometimes meet these young men and they think more, they want more from them than what they're capable of giving, and then they get mad because they won't give it. You got to make that decision early on in the relationship, especially when you're talking about having kids and having co-parenting co and living in, in, in coexisting with each other. It's a lot more to it. And today, in today's society, it's so much more difficult now with a simple relationship. Don't make it complicated. And we're making it too complicated. And society wants it that way. Mm -hmm. Society can make you the best father or the worst one. Yeah. But it's your choice. It's from home. It's going to be different from everybody you know. Everybody got a definition of what they consider to be great. That's true. So y'all be listening to me talk. This is where I get it from. <laughs> when I be having that passion... Uh, my parents are here, y'all. So um, I actually had a few things. Usually I don't have stuff delivered to like where I stay because I just don't be, don't even want all my inventory here but this week is very different because as y'all know um, my Valentine's Day probably by the time y'all see this it'll already be passed so I hope y'all are still able to shop because I think I'm gonna stop shipping out orders on um, the 8th so y'all see this before the 8th make sure y'all hurry up and shop because the 8th is the last day that I'll be shipping out orders in order for you to get it before Valentine's Day. Obviously, I'm going to resume shipping orders, but you won't get it before Valentine's Day. But anyway, so I'm sitting here. My parents are helping me. They literally just came and dropped the load off, and now I'm working, and then they're sitting here, sitting here helping me, but we are having, like, really good talks, and it's just really good. So I need to see how I'm going to prop my camera up in a minute because it's a lot going on here, and I don't want to be too... I don't want to show too much, but at the end of the day, like... It's some good gems that my dad is in here dropping. Mm -hmm. And my mama dropping gems too, y'all. So, um, anyway, welcome to this vlog. I know y'all like, girl, you gonna speak. Hey, y'all. What's up? Hopefully y'all um, had a good week, a good weekend. Um, y'all, I am I was busy this past weekend. Y'all are seeing the pre of it. So, um, yes, I'm excited. Tomorrow I'll be getting my hair done. Oh, I can't wait to show y'all how this gonna go tomorrow because... I'm not afraid. I'm going to talk about that a little bit later on in the vlog, but just know I'm getting something completely different than I've been getting this week. So I'm a little nervous. At the salon, y'all. So I am getting tape-ins and, uh, well, basically I'm getting a hybrid install and I am excited. I'm going to show y'all the finished look and I'm going to tell y'all exactly who I came to. Um, so far, she is amazing. And yeah, y'all, I'm excited. So stay tuned. Yeah, boy. Well, I would eat on hot ass chips today. What's up, y'all? And welcome back to my channel. So as y'all can see, I have tape ins in, and I this is basically called a hybrid 
sew in and this is what i have in my hair y'all know i have been wearing um wigs for like literally um <laughs> since september 2001 2021 y'all know what i meant and yeah so i'm trying to switch it up and do just like no wigs i'm trying not to not wear wigs and I, i'm gonna be honest the girl did my hair yesterday and i was this close to um asking my man could he get my hair done again in, a, in two weeks because this hairstyle is very expensive guys um just know i i spent a lot of money the only thing is i didn't have to buy more hair because i had hair already from the fierce collection i did have to buy some tape-ins um so it wasn't expensive the hair but more so getting it done and then i did get an amino acid treatment which i'll talk more about that on my channel later on but i love my hair y'all i'm liking it today um yesterday i was like oh, i might not i might have to get me another wig put on but I actually kind of love it. I, I think it's very natural. Um, and it's just something I still have to get used to because I haven't been wearing my hair like this. But I actually think it's cute. I think it's I think it's just giving a different look to me. Cause like I said, I'm just so used to wearing wigs, so I have to get used to like basically not having a wig on my head anymore. So y'all let me know in the comments if y'all like it or not or how y'all feel. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like in the morning, like with the natural lighting, because right now, let me see. I just wanna see, I guess y'all can kinda see how it looks. I don't know if this is better, me getting up right here. But yeah, I think it's I think it's cute, guys. Like, I think, I think, this is the real me, if that makes sense. Like, I love wigs, and wigs be doing what they got to do, honey. They give you them different looks. Your hair is protected. Your edges, I ain't going to lie. I had a lot of complications with my edges over the last year. They came out. They came back. It was a lot going on with that. i probably talk about that, make a whole video on my process and how that happened. But in the meantime, um, but now I'm just like... I don't know. I just don't want to wear wigs like that no more. I want to get back to what's going on because this is the real me. Like this is wigs give you a whole new hairline and everything. Like this is the real hairline. This is my real face structure, and I think it's cute. So um, anyway, I just wanted to come chime in really quickly. I'm about to go out. It is Saturday night. I'm about to go out with my friends, and then um, tomorrow we are packaging up um packages because i had my sale so i'm gonna show y'all my process and how i do it well the, not, it's not gonna be the full process because my parents helped me earlier this week which y'all saw with this launch because like i told y'all i typically don't have anything sit here but i was like let me just i had to get this done because this was like one of the biggest releases i've done and i was trying to like make it work because y'all know i work a nine to five and i have this business and i do to youtube so i'll be having a lot going on but my parents saved the day they're the best i love them so much but anyway i wanted to come in and say hello and tell y'all about my new do and how i am liking it the next day which is why i did not show y'all video yesterday because i was about to take these out but now i'm kind of rocking with them so yes tape ins all up in here and then it's a sew in in the back to give me that fullness that I have. And then I also didn't want all my real hair just out and getting effed up. I didn't want that, but I think I'm loving it so far, guys. So um, anyway, I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow morning. And we, well, actually I'm gonna show y'all me going out. Y'all finna come out with me too. And then tomorrow we'll be able to sit a little bit more down and just talk about it. What's poppin' y'all and welcome back to my channel. So um, I know I said last night that I was gonna like film us at the club and chilling and whatnot. I didn't, so do not kill me. Um, it was just so much going on. And you know like when you go to the strip club, you really can't really film in there. So um, I didn't wanna like have nobody trying to come get me. Like girl, why is you in here filming? But nonetheless y'all, it is Sunday. So what y'all see behind me is um an inside look at my inventory so um this is new um this is pretty much what i worked on this week with my family my mom and my dad came out and this is like what they did so um i don't know if i'm going to keep 
it like this but for now this is just like my setup i'm keeping everything in these cubbies um there's a few other things everywhere and it's like a whole i don't even want to show y'all over here it's like so much more stuff going on over here but this is kind of like my setup and how i keep myself organized for my business for everything shop and um as you guys may or may or may not know i had a sale on february 3rd so all of the girlies literally ordered thank you so much even if you're watching this and you're somebody who ordered thank you so much y'all like i'm I'm so blessed and appreciative. Like y'all do not have to support me. Like honestly, like I'm I'm just so appreciative. So if you are somebody who did support me, thank you so much. And if you haven't, y'all go in there and check me out because I got some shit on there that y'all probably would like. So anyway, guys, so this is basically like my setup. This is what everything looks like. Um I this is what I do. So as y'all see, it's even more stuff over here, but it's like this is basically how I keep myself organized for my business and make sure that um, I have everything accounted for, things of that sort. Like, this is how I go about it. So, um, what I do is um, all of the things that come in for everything shop, I liter it literally comes in with, like, um, the vendor tag that I use um, on it. Because for whatever reason, you have to basically, I can't explain it, but you have to order a certain amount with companies like in order for them to just be like okay you know we'll use your own tag so you don't have to like go back in and double touch it but um i use like so many different vendors i don't use just one so i don't buy in bulk from every vendor if that makes sense so i just haven't accumulated i have not accumulated my time yet i guess where they'll be like oh she ordered so much from us will help her out so anyway saying all that to say this is a job and it's like um no i'm not doing it myself i just told y'all my parents um looking for my phone <laughs> i just told y'all like my parents helped me out a lot with my business and i'm so appreciative like as y'all know my both of my parents are retired so they literally come and they help me do all of this y'all it is a lot i'm gonna be honest um like i said i'm so blessed i I'm so blessed and um yeah so this is what it looks like a day in my life just trying to keep the peace and stay organized this is what's going on and also y'all y'all see my little pony I'm, I'm, I'm messing with with this I think this is a different look for me for y'all at least seeing me on my channel because you know I keep the wigs going honey but yeah I'm, I'm messing with it I think it's cute so anyway, so um, I'm about to show y'all like a process of like what I do. So I use Shopify as I've told you guys for my orders. So I have already done one order that I already took to the post office. And this is because the person who ordered, she did express shipping. She wanted her stuff on time and fit and quick. And she probably got something going on this week. So I went to the post office already and took hers um, on Saturday because in Atlanta, we have a post office that stays open. And um, I just went up and took her, um, took what she ordered already. So like prime example, and I don't want to show you guys, um, I don't want to show you guys this person's, who this person is or her address, but like I use my phone. Can y'all see that? I'm going to it focus. See? Oh, okay. There we go. So y'all see that a little bit, right? So, like, prime example, this person ordered a large brown dress in the fierce dress. So, um, what I do, I use my phone because it's, I don't know why it's just so much easier for me to do instead of just sit and do it on my laptop. Um, so, I use my phone and my phone is connected to my printer. And so, what I go in, I do for my phone, I go in, I see what she ordered. I always double check to say, okay. We have this in stock, so I'll go over here. And like I said, everything is already organized. So literally all I have to do is pull, bam. This is what she ordered. She ordered it in a size large. I always label the sizes um, because again, that helps me remember. Because I take the their tags off and add my own, I have to do that. So I always remember like, you know, what it is. So this is what she ordered. And then, um, so I'm basically, I've already weighed all of my clothes, so I know I already have the input on the website. So now I'm just like, okay, um, this week I made sure that we are doing fast shipping because I want everybody to get their stuff in time. 
So go ahead and do her shipping. And now what I'm doing now is I am buying the label, purchasing the label. And yeah, now it is purchased and this young lady lives in New York. So typically like people who live, I live in Georgia, so I'm shipping from Georgia. So people who live in like a North Carolina, South Carolina, Mississippi, Texas, maybe like, like kind of surrounding areas, <clears throat> the clothes, the fastest shipping you can do that's not expensive is like two to three day shipping. <clears throat> Sorry y'all, but like if you automatically live in like a New York or LA, it's three days minimum that it's going to take you to get your stuff. Unless, you know, you do like one day shipping or something like that. <coughs> Ooh, sorry, y'all. All right. So the next thing I do is I print my shipping label. So right now I'm printing the shipping label. And again, I'm not showing you guys this because it literally has who this person is and her address and mm -mm. I don't want to put all her stuff out like that. So y'all hear it going off. So now that just came out and now I'm going to print the shipping label. I'm doing that now. Okay. So now that it's being printed and yeah, so now I have what I need. So now I'm going to take one of my poly mailers, everything poly mailer. Take the outfit, open it up, throw that in there. Take one of my beautiful thanks for shopping cards. Put this in. Since I am doing Valentine's Day, in which I just reminded myself I need to go downstairs because I actually have um, the letter that I wrote for my homegirls. That is going in every package as well because I want you ladies to always remember, you know, Self-love, baby. Self-love. It's all about self-love, and that's so important. So, basically, once I get done putting all that stuff in, I would seal it off, and then I have the shipping label here, and then that package is done. So, yeah, this is my, this is what it takes. Um, Like I said, this is, like, the ending result. Getting, getting everything, counting it, making sure I have what I ordered, everything is here, um checking the garments to make sure it's not any discrepancies like it's not messed up it doesn't have any holes things of that sort and then um literally detagging everything and retagging it with my own um brand so that is basically this is what it looks like guys so if you about to start your business or maybe this is what it takes it definitely takes a village um you can do this by yourself but like y'all know i work a nine to five and then i also produce content for you guys so it's not that it's it's a lot more harder than it would be you know if i just could focus solely on this but um if you're somebody who is multitasking it's absolutely something you can do and do it so um anyway i just want to come in and say that so i'm gonna see you guys in the next hey y'all so i am taking a quick 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 break from packaging orders and now i'm at southern fire y'all i be coming up here all the time it's bussy so if you are ever in atlanta and you want some good food from a black owned business that's the most important part and it is black history month for all of y'all shout out to all of my black kings queens honey this is our month but um yeah southern fire is so bomb the lamb chops the fried chicken salmon's going nuts so um i'm gonna show y'all my food once we get it but yeah so stay tuned y'all i'm about to show y'all what this food is talking about Just say you will, will, will come to it, chill, chill, chill. Just say like you will, will, will come hey, to it. it is Monday morning, and yes, we are packaging and shipping orders today to, in order to get here before Valentine's Day. So, oh shit, damn, look at Y'all, I got my MFers on. I'm always wearing these. This is the process. So I'm at self serve, and here are my packages. So I basically, sometimes them lines, it be just way too long trying to like just go in there and have them do all this. So I'm like, just let me go ahead 
and you self serve. So I use this just, to, just so that I have a receipt so that if something ever go left and y'all be trying to say, oh, I didn't get my package or something, something. Because I, I check y'all stuff just to make sure everything is cool. But long story short, this is the process. I just come in and scan. And yeah, this is the process. So um, I'm gonna sit here and do this because it take a little minute. And then we gonna go and get our feet done because baby, that is what's next. Okay y'all, so now that that is finished, um, I'm about to go get some gas and um, I just have a few other errands to run and then I will be headed back to the house. So um, yeah, day in the life with me. Hey, how are you? Um, I want that model by you. Pulling up to Ulta Beauty. Um, I gotta come in here, y'all, because for some reason, all my lip glosses just literally got up and got the F on. I don't know where they are. I've been using my man Carmex. Like, it's not, it's just not been, I, <laughs> it ain't been looking too good. So, I'm literally just trying to come in here see what I need and just get some cute little things to add to my collection and just go from there this is what I got I'm gonna try these on for y'all when I get home <laughs> okay y'all so I just left out of Ulta and I was about to head home um but there's one last thing that I have to do which is why I'm so glad I have my laptop with me because I'm just gonna work from there but long story short my car has like a sensor that is off and it's basically trying to tell me that I need to refill my tire. So I'm taking my car to Porsche right now so that they can like fix this because it's super annoying and I keep like resetting my tire pressure. Nothing's wrong with my tire pressure so I think it's a glitch. Which is so unfortunate like when you buy a car and it's brand new, never been driven in, I'm the first owner and then you have these issues. It's just kind of like annoying, like super annoying. So nonetheless, um, I don't feel like it. I really want to go home and like hone in and kind of like finish up the work that I'm doing. But I need to go because it's like this week is just going to be way too much going on. So I have to go. But let me show y'all what it looks like. So if y'all can see, you see how it's saying my tire pressure is like that, but look at the pressure. Like nothing's wrong with it. So right now I am headed to Porsche for them to go ahead and figure out what's going on with this. So anyway, y'all will see when I get there because I'm hopping on the highway, child. I am finally back home, y'all. Um, I got everything fixed for my car, so I am so happy the only thing like i was telling y'all with like buying a new car and having like discrepancies it's the absolute worst and i'm just annoyed but baby girl is good i don't know if it's a guy or a girl i'm still trying to decide if i want my car to be a boy or a girl but nonetheless ghost i like to call it ghost ghost is fine so yeah i'm back home and i am finishing up the last couple of minutes of work literally about to get off in like the next five minutes but I wanted to come and show y'all all of the lips I got. Plus, I want to do a small unboxing of some shoes that I literally just put on Instagram today. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen the unboxing. But some of y'all don't follow me on Instagram or don't even have Instagram. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. So let's start with the goodies. So I picked up another... Oh, shit. I got like a, a trio. I didn't even know I picked up this. But yes, y'all, I needed some more of these because that Fenty highlighter, those of y'all that know about that, that thing be, it be leaving a mess. But these are all the goodies that I got from Ulta. So I had the young lady in there help me because I was like, girl, I just want the best. I want the good stuff that are, that's gonna do my lips, what I need them to do. So I already have a liner. I use my Chestnut in the MAC liner. That is the best liner, y'all, hands down. And, but I always end up losing it, having to buy another one. So I did get another one. This one is from NYX and it is in the color, I don't know, brown. It's in the color brown. So I got another liner just in case something go left so usually how i do my lips um which i'm not really gonna demonstrate because that's just whatever but i line my lips i be going nuts with the liner because i just love a good line lip it just it defines 
to me, it defines my face. Like, I just love the liner. The liner, when I don't have my liner, I be blow. Like, I do not like putting on my lips without a liner. So I line my lips first. And then I bought um, this lip pumping gloss. This is um, from e.l.f. and is in Pink Cosmo. She told me to get this. She also told me to get the NYX and I got it in the mandolin, mandolin, I, you know, NYX be inside of beauty supply store. So y'all can easily get this. I also got Eclair. She told me this was like a good pink. I got the Eclair. And then this one is um, from Revolution and she told me to get candy. So she referenced Jada. Y'all know Jada, um, Jada Wada who dates little baby. Y'all know her. She told me like basically she does like the deep liner and then she'll use like this really bright pink and um it'll give it that look she told me with this one i kind of want to test this one out honestly because she was hollering about it um my bad y'all my camera went out but yeah i kind of want to test this one out because she was hollering about it and she made it seem like she was like whatever you do like don't go nuts like don't be going crazy with the lips so i'm about to try this one out because i just kind of want to see what it's gonna do now mind you she this is not meant to be worn without a liner we finna see how it's gonna look without a liner, but she was like, put that liner on and kind of go nuts. Like, make sure you go like, not just on the line, but you want to get it like on the lip too. So let's try this one first. Hold on y'all, it's a little messy. I hate like when it gets messy, but this is what it looks like. Okay. So she said, put just a little bit. Ooh. Um, am I looking like Shouty from um Alice in the Wonderland with this? Do I need to be scared? <laughs> this is why this is why she said don't go nuts. Yeah. Oh, it's like I guess because it's plumping lip gloss it got that, you know, when it's like minty, like mm, no y'all. This is what it looked like. So I guess, let me see. Let me, let me be serious on camera, like. Nah, I can't take this serious, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe when I do a lip, I'ma try this look again for y'all, but I'ma actually, I don't feel like undoing this y'all, I'ma be honest, but maybe I'ma actually go back in and line my lip and try it again. But this is what the candy looks like. So if you are a girl, pop, pop, bomb, whatever. If you are a girl who's into pink, pink, honey, this might be for you, but I ain't gonna lie. I is scared, okay? But yeah, so these are the looks I got. So I'm excited to like try, you know, what I got and um, yeah, just go from there. But um, I think this one probably is the more just like kind of giving like clear. I should have got something that was just clear, but I'm gonna go to like the beauty supply store. Oh, finally guys. Um, Yes, I put it right back in the bag for y'all because I wanted to do a true unboxing um, for you guys because I can't be cheating on y'all with, oh, my bad y'all, don't, don't mind me. It was like some random water bottle and it was probably from when we bought it, child. But anyway, I just, I don't, I be cheating on y'all with Instagram, but I still want to give y'all the full experience. So this is the box that it came in. Early Valentine's Day. Um, I actually got these probably like a week after I came back from Miami. So excited. So I cannot wait to wear these y'all. Like here in Atlanta, our weather is going on and off literally. So um, these are perfect. Like literally one day is hot. Next day is in between. Next day is cold. But this is what they look like, y'all. I got these in a size 37. That's my size. Um, and I love them. I've already tried them on. I got my, y'all just saw I got my toes there, honey. And I got that mod about you. If you are a girl and you are into a pink, it's that mod about you, we going nuts. Iman put me on. So um, I'm about to show y'all my feet so that y'all can see the color and see it with these slides. And yeah, I'm excited. I think these are super cute. I'm like into anything furry mink. I mean, that's like in style right now. So 
Um, my man does have a matching pair in blue. So I'm excited, guys. This is, um, these are the shoes. So I'm gonna try them on for y'all so that y'all can see what they look like. This is what they look like. And um, yeah, as y'all can see, my foot is not hanging off the edge. So this is my true size. Um, don't mind me if my feet look a little ashy. Super, super cute. As y'all can see, I got the mod about you on my toes. That little cute baby pink. I think they're so cute. So yep, this is what they look like on. Good morning, A1s. So I received all of y'all's um, messages and y'all said that y'all love A1s so much. And I never knew, like, obviously I don't expect any of you to be like, oh, I'm A1, call, I'm A1. Like, I don't expect that. But a few of you only use it. So I was like, maybe they don't like the name. Hold on, y'all gotta delete some um, storage once. Okay, I am back. So anyway, we gonna stick with A1s. So um, it is Tuesday morning, guys, and um, I chose to go in the office today. Um, although I am running kind of late, like the times, the time they expect you to at least be in the office by is really no later than 10:30, and right now it's like 10:15. So I'm not far away. Like I'll still get there well before 10:30, but it's like I it's just time got away from me like I feel like I woke up this morning and um I woke up late and I had to get myself together honey um I had a few more orders come in so I had to make sure that um I took that to the um post office because that's important like people are waiting going to be waiting for their things and I want to make sure it people get their stuff well before they expect it to come so nonetheless I pack, I sent those orders off um, this morning and then I had to go by the alterations um, lady that I use because my um, cargo pants my denim denim cargo pants has like a tear on the side I don't know how or when that happened but nonetheless um, I just literally left her and I was like, please, can you fix this? Because I am going to need it because I will be going out of town soon and I need, I need my pieces. Like I'm, I'm trying to get away from buying stuff from other people, like other brands. Um, I mean, obviously that's impossible. It's impossible to just hundred percent wear your brand unless you have like that type of catalog. I don't have that type of catalog yet to where I can solely only wear my pieces, but I'm getting close. We're getting there, ladies. So I'm excited and um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to buy um, in addition to what I already have, y'all. Like when I tell y'all I'm speeding, like sometimes I be forgetting that I drive this car now. So I know people be like, who is this crazy person driving this Porsche, honey? Cause I'm going like I'm 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 on two wheels headed to work right now. But um anyway y'all so yeah so anyway I hope you guys had an amazing week. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I tried to make it as long as I could possibly make it because I know y'all always say like hey we want to see longer vlogs and y'all it just I don't be wanting to just sit and talk like I think what I'm gonna start doing is every week y'all gonna get a vlog and then y'all also get a girl talk because y'all love my girl talks so i think i'm gonna like do it like that one day is gonna be girl talk the next day is gonna be a vlog so that you know everybody can get what they need and people who don't prefer the talks can watch the vlogs and the people who don't prefer the vlogs can watch the talks so i think that's how i'm gonna structure it for now um moving forward um unless something else comes up damn y'all people who live in Atlanta y'all know but baby these roads is something else like I, I'm literally over here playing hot potato trying to dodge these potholes and they, they 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 it's almost like they getting up and getting closer to me I swear I thought I was about to dodge that pothole just the end but um anyway guys so that's what I was saying hope you guys have an amazing day I'm about to head into the office and um yeah so I'll probably talk to y'all a little bit more after I get off today, but if not, then you guys will see me close out the vlog.